and I don't want to ever, ever say it was all me because there were hundreds of people who made this possible, but yes, it was me, but my favorite part of this house is the house's ability to change the world. Rich people have been doing stupid stuff with their money since mankind got its hands on currency, but some things even the richest people won't buy, which happens to be really, really bad news for Niall Niami, the creator of the world's most expensive house. Now, Niall Niami is a real estate developer slash self-proclaimed visionary who recently completed his project of a $500 million Bel Air Giga Mansion. And to absolutely nobody's surprise except Niall, probably nobody wants to buy it and with hundreds of millions of dollars of loans not being paid back yet he's coming close to defaulting and foreclosing on the house so in a last-ditch effort to find a buyer he contacted somebody who has a large audience of billionaires a youtuber so with the help of producer Michael Niall Niami put together a video house tour to display this giant failure now I don't know what this guy is smoking or snorting but he genuinely believes that this house is going to change the world and that that's not me just joking around, he actually says that this house is going to change the world for the better. He claims that it's going to revolutionize the entertainment industry, and that it's going to change the way that humans socialize. Keep in mind we're talking about a house here. Words cannot explain this man's delusion, so let me just show you. Please subscribe. All right, so there it is. I mean, it's cool looking. I'm not a really big fan of modern homes, but the design isn't awful. The problem, however, is that nobody wants to buy a $500 million house that's already built. If you have that kind of money to spend on a home, you're gonna get that thing custom built to every specification that you want. You're not gonna want some random house that was built in somebody else's vision. Today is the most epic of epic videos. We are at the largest house in the urban world. When I say the largest, it is 105,000 square feet. 105,000 square feet. That's like living in a fucking shopping mall. I feel like that would end up being a nuisance. It would take you like 12 minutes to answer the doorbell. Electric stone front door. Biometric, we have the latest technology in the house. Whoa! Guys, yeah. I have never been in this house before. This is the first time walking through- $500 million and they still chose a tacky earthbound geo to put at the front door. So let me show you and talk to you. This is going this. to be a first. I never <laughs> walk on grass. This is real grass and I'm going to walk on it. Why are you scared of grass? Call me a vain son of a bitch, but I sure hope there comes a day where I can afford to not walk on grass anymore. I am overwhelmed. You've never seen me overwhelmed in a house before. I am overwhelmed. Well, this is... You've seen nothing. I... This is an elevator, I'm assuming. Elevators. I think there's six elevators. Six and, elevators. You know, I'm, I'm a big developer. I, I have built a lot of houses, no houses like this, but I've learned over time that we really need to start sustaining and trying to do things where we don't just waste. I had to replay this about 10 times before it really sunk in. The guy who just built a 105 fucking thousand square foot home is talking about how it's important that we stop wasting and start trying to be more sustainable. Yes, I'm sure the tens of thousands of pounds of precious materials that went into making this home are really sustainable. Um, so this is one thing that, that we found. All of my flowers are artificial. Um... Wow, okay, um, how do I put this? Um, Niall, using plastic to make fake flowers is more wasteful than just, you know, planting flowers. So this is the outdoor, look at this, so, this is- So we're indoors, but we're outdoors because of course all the doors completely disappear. And <laughs> look at this, Adam. This is unbelievable. And look how cool this is. This is the latest technology. So now we're outside, outside, right? Yeah. I'm stood outside. Outside. And this is the latest technology. This is the TV. The speakers are going on the right left, but there's no frame to it. So a quick question to any multi-millionaire fans I may have. How do houses like these work when it rains? Is there just enough overhang where you don't even notice? Because I feel like this could be an issue if it really started to rain hard. Oh, you weren't kidding. No. That's a real running track. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so even as like uber rich futuristic movie this comes off, that is actually a really cool feature. That would be pretty badass to have. It sort of sucks because this guy seems to have a pretty good creative mind, but it's just too far out of the realm of reality. Like if you put this house in anywhere but Bel Air, I'm sure it would sell. Like you drop this thing in, I don't know, Mississippi, it becomes a $70 million house instead of $500 million. Somebody would buy it. Just don't build Giga Mansions in California. Should I do the reveal? Okay, here's the reveal. So here's one of the- <laughs> I recognize the color blue. This is in your yeah. other house, the same color. It's here's one of the most technology forward tele- This is kind of what I was talking about when I said there's a problem with making a house like this and then trying to sell it after you've built it in your own vision. Like just think for a second about the people who could reasonably buy this. A bunch of 40, 50 plus tech executives. Do you really think they want a 15,000 square foot nightclub in their house? Probably not. Visions with no, you can see there's no bezel on it. It's just one piece. How is that possible? Because they, they come in little bricks and they, they, they get sucked together with air. And you can make it any size you want. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> I mean, this is, this is a, a real nightclub. nightclub. This isn't a nightclub in a house. This is a real This is nightclub. bigger than most nightclubs. And we have not only a dry fire seating area, but a wet fire seating area. So two of these pods have fire pits in them. I cannot possibly think of a worse combination to have around a bunch of drunk people. Stepping stones surrounded by water leading into fire. Somebody's gonna die at this nightclub. And I don't want to ever ever say it was all me because there were hundreds of people who made this possible, but yes, it was me. I know, and unfortunately in LA, I know a lot of the dudes are scumbags here and I'm going to change that. I'm going to turn all the dudes into good people. All right, prepare yourself for the stupidest f***ing plan that a human being has ever come up with. This is Niall Naomi's solution to guys being a douchebag. How so are you going to do that? One of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to set them on their feet. So check out what I did here. So this is a his and her bath, right? This is the community bath. So this is the her side. This is the toilets and this is the sinks. And see these, these uh, plates right here, that's for a monitor, right? And then if you come into the his side, <laughs> can you believe these this? are no. the these are the urinals, and I'm gonna have cameras here looking at the guys. You're gonna have cameras? Cameras looking at the guys putting the image in the girls' bathroom. Yeah, so let's just ignore the fact that that is illegal in, in so many ways, but you really think an LA douchebag is gonna care if a woman sees his dick? They'll probably be thrilled at the idea. They'll probably be jerking off into the urinals. How did this idea enter this man's brain? Out of the box thinking. That's a normal thing like a, a guy would do. Now I'm thinking like the girl, getting them back for a minute. So this is the entrance to the master bedroom right here. That's the main elevator there. Right, but this is the master bedroom entrance. So you come in here, this is the master bedroom, living room, kitchen bar. <laughs> Check the closet out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like a Beverly Hills boutique. It's crazy to think about people actually living like this. There's people who woke up a few hours ago, walked into a closet like this, grabbed their $12,000 morning robe, walked down 400 flights of stairs, had their wait staff make them breakfast. It's just crazy. We have things like here, everything is rose gold here. So even the hinges are rose gold. And these are, they're all lined in suede. But my favorite part of this house is the house's ability to change the world. This is the 50 car garage. There's so much stupid shit that's just here to be here. No wonder the house won't sell. You don't need rose gold hinges on your fucking closet doors. A 50 car garage is beyond pointless. I mean, maybe if this house was made for a normal person, it would be a fifth of the price and someone might buy it. So wh what are these rooms? This is, this is the wine room. So this is the wine and champagne. So it's temperature controlled behind the glass. You can have dinner around so the wine. A complete area wrapped around. Yeah. And it's enormous, so... Yeah. I think it's 5,000 bottles or something. So this is the AV, because the AV was around $10 million when we decided to display it. It's very hard, <laughs> it's very hard to see this because I, my ex that I met eight months ago, I married, it already, it didn't work out because she's from Argentina, she doesn't listen to me, blah, 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 blah. But it's still hard to see because we were like soulmates, like deeper connection that you could ever imagine. So it's hard to watch the music video I directed with her. 
but you should see it. Oh, soulmates, but they had to get divorced because she's, uh, what, what did he say? Because she's from Argentina. You've known her for eight months and you've already gotten married and divorced. Yeah, that sounds like soulmates to me. This is our Am lounge I seeing area. this right? No, yeah. <laughs> so this is the pool lounge. <laughs> this is the uh, oh, this isn't it. My goodness, no, this is not it. This is the bowling alley, four lane, and then this is a golf simulator. Oh my good! Look at the walls. Watch the walls. I know. This is the entrance. We have digital movie posters, so you can change. <laughs> this is our candy room, which will look great when it's all filled with different color candies. Oh wow. my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like a theater goes both directions. Oh, you're kidding me! You're kidding me. <laughs> this is a theater. This is like what a 12 year old would do if he could build any house that he wanted. Yeah, obviously having all of this shit is badass. But even for billionaires, it's not realistic. Once your home amenities start to put you in the half billion dollar range, it might be time to cut it back. Can you want to see the, uh, the staff quarters? Yes, please. This is one of the sizes. This is like the bath, the area, the closet. These are lovely bedrooms for staff quarters. Yeah, great views. Beautiful bathrooms. Then here's all of them here, because it comes straight down. So oh, staff wow. quarters, staff, 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 staff. Well, that's where I'm gonna end it. I might have shown, I don't know, 15 or 20% of the actual video. The entire thing's over an hour long, so I'm not gonna subject anybody to that. So I just tried to find the highlights. So as I was making this, I actually found an updated news article. And, um, the bank took the house. And now Niall owes $80 million. So, uh... Bad day for Niall. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's made of pure rose gold, I'll have you know. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. With the amount of things you can do with $500 million, buying that house would probably be the worst option you could possibly choose. But do you know what you can do for free? Subscribe to August the Duck so you never miss any of his delicious videos. If you don't, I will be forced to uppercut your grandmother.